Hello everybody, welcome back to the cyberspace virtual reality. Lots of cool things have started to arise in the virtual reality industry and we've been trying to talk about all of them. Oculus just released that they're making the Oculus Quest 2. That is super, super exciting. And they also said that they're going to stop production of the Oculus Rift S in 2021 or after 2021? Uh, it's in 2021. In yeah. 20, 2021, they're not gonna produce the Rift S anymore. Check out our video about that. We talk a little bit about what that means and what that implies that they're doing as a business. Yeah. But today we're gonna be talking about the Oculus Rift S versus the Oculus Quest 2. We're gonna break it down spec by spec, talk about the nitty gritty and what really makes these headsets good and what makes the one that's better, better. A lot of people are coming to a big decision right now. So maybe you were planning on buying a Rift S and then the Quest, the original Quest came out and you're like, ooh, I don't know what to do. And now you're, you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, and you're like, maybe I'll wait until they release the new Rift S or Rift S2, you know, whatever it may be. And then they just dropped the Quest and they're like, sorry, we're not gonna make it any more Rift. Uh, Rift headsets. So you have a decision to make because since they're discontinuing the Rift S, do you jump in on the, I guess it's technically like third generation Rift S headset or the second generation Oculus Quest headset? And that's a big, it's a big decision to make. And we're going to jump into, you know, what, maybe why you'd go with either one. Let's just jump right into specs of these two headsets. Uh, and let's start off with probably the most, one of the most important things in VR is obviously the screen resolution. So the screen resolution of the Oculus Rift S is what per eye? All right, let's check it out right here. So that is gonna be 1280 by 1440 per eye. That is what it is for the Oculus Rift okay. S. So that's, that's pretty great. Um, no really big complaints there. For the Oculus Quest, which is $100 cheaper, mind you, and is independent, it's 1832 by 1920 per eye. So that's a pretty hefty yeah. upgrade, right? Yeah, that's that's a big upgrade. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big deal. Yeah. When you when I first played on the Quest, it felt a little blocky and kind of weird, and it's because it just didn't have the resolution. But now it has the resolution, and and that's really important. And then let's jump into the next thing that I I think is the most important thing when playing VR. Otherwise, they'll just get instantly motion sick, and that's refresh rate. Um, so what's the refresh rate on the Oculus Rift S? So for the Rift S, the refresh rate is 80 hertz which is awesome. That's pretty standard. Um, for the Quest 2, it's 72 hertz at launch, so that's not great, but they have the avail or they have plans to make it 90 hertz. Um, I think that's really interesting. I think that's with the Oculus Link cable specifically. So not when it's playing independently, but when it's linked up to a computer through the Link cable. Um, 90 hertz is better, uh, but we'll see if they actually make good on that promise. I feel like Facebook Oculus is kind of like a politician here. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I can see them. I, you know what? So I, I'm looking here at some of the stats and, and some of the numbers behind this. And the Rift S was made in March 20 or on March 20th, two, two, uh, 2019. So that's a year and a half old. That's a year and a half ish that they've had the technology and the time to really make this quest right. too good. So I think that they're gonna. I think they're going to deliver on right. the promises. I think they'll be able to make it at, you know, hit that goal of hitting that 90 hertz. I think, right. they, I think they'll be able to do it. Right. And so that's really where the kind of the raw specs comparison sort of ends, right? Like with the Rift S and the Oculus Quest, because the Oculus Quest is so much more than just a PC headset. Um, but I wanted to talk about some specific things with the Rift S that don't come stock with the, the Quest 2. So, um, when you look at this thing, the most important thing, and this is something I love, and I, some people don't like it very much, but I love the halo. I love this. I, I don't know about you, but it fits so comfortably on my head, and it's really easy to teach people how to use it because it's literally just a spinning disc. It's yeah. not complicated at all. Um, you just cinch it up to your head, and you're good to go. Yeah, I like it much better than the Vive. When we had the Vive for a couple of years, I didn't like the straps as much. It didn't seem as... as yep. It, it just didn't seem as... Exactly. Quality. Like it wasn't as high of quality. Yep. I don't know. And they had the pro audio strap for it, but I mean, I don't want to spend another 200 or whatever dollars mm -hmm. on a stupid strap. Um, that quest two is not shipping with it. You can see here in their, um, photos, it's just a standard strap, basically like the, uh, the HTC Vive was, right. um, you can choose to get, again, you can choose to get like the better quality strap for, I think it's like 40, 50 bucks or something like that, mm -hmm. which isn't too bad. 
Um, but it's still frustrating. It's like, come on guys, give me a, give me a decent strap yeah. if you made one. That is true. And you know, the interesting, the interesting thing about that is, you know, they all, they are already lowering the price by a hundred dollars Yep. from the quest one to the quest two. They're upgrading the headset and lowering it by a hundred dollars. That's really cool. So it makes sense for me. Like we're going to lower the initial cost of the headset. But if you want to upgrade it here, you, you know, you got to spend 40 bucks here. You know, we, you got to cut us some slack because we're trying to work with you market. We're trying to make it work for you guys, yep. but we also need you to kind of give, give, give back to us too. So yep. that's kind of my thought on that at least. So. Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a give and a take definitely. Yeah. And I think Facebook, Facebook Oculus is trying to like really get as much of the market as possible by getting this headset out that is both independent and link capable. Right. Um, we'll see how stable it is. I actually pre-ordered the Oculus Quest 2. Um, we already have a Rift S, so that decision was very easy for me. But um, I'm curious to see how stable it is, how really well made and thorough yeah. their link cable is. That'll be, I, I love that idea. You know, their Oculus is going out from the PC VR industry and they're really committing hard to this standalone virtual reality headset uh, market. And I think that's really cool. And I think it's cool that they're, they have that link cable uh, option if you need it. If you have the PC, if you want to make it a little bit better, a better experience, more virtual reality, play better games, have a yep. better quality experience that's cool you have the option but you don't have to and you don't have to consistently consistently i love that about the quest if you want to go take it over to a friend's house you don't have to take your pc that's the big issue with the rift s is that every time you want to take it somewhere for a party for a hangout for whatever it might be you, you got to take all of your equipment this yep. is super nice that's a huge advantage that the quest has now that it's really uh, comparable in terms of uh, quality specs things like that it's, yep. it's at you know at the same level or better or will be better that i mean it's hard to beat that when you can have the option of standalone headset or pc headset and exactly the that's that's neat yeah it's interesting that they're charging more for those things so you can just get a base model 64 gigabyte oculus quest 2 for 300 mm -hmm. that's amazing right like revolutionary you're, yeah really. you're into vr for almost like that is crazy cheap. Um, there's a lot of like different accessories you can get. For example, let's see if I can find it. The, I know the link cable is $80, right? Okay. The, that's that's just, just how it is. You know, if you wanna play the Oculus Quest 2 on your computer using your computer VR games that you bought in Steam or whatever, it's 80 bucks. So uh, compare that really quick because you're paying 300 for the headset and then another 80, so that puts you at 380. You're still cheaper than getting a Rift S. Okay. You're still, you know, 100, yep. 300, or sorry, $380 versus $400. Right now, the market's kind of weird because of Corona, and these actually went up in price. I don't yep. know if it's come back down yet. So you have to, you had for a while, you're having to pay even more than $400 for right. a Rift S. But just think about it that way. If you want, if you're thinking about it from the PC VR standpoint, it's still running you cheaper yep. than getting the Rift. So. And here's what happened, in my opinion. Oculus was like, okay, we're gonna switch the Quest 2, we're gonna slow down production of the of the Rift, but since everybody was home, it's like, I wanna VR headset, and then the demand went up, but they didn't have the production to meet that demand. Mm. Um, but now they're gonna release the Quest 2, and it, it'll be interesting to see if it launches well. Yeah. Um, so let's say you wanted a very Rift S experience, but with the Quest 2. Um, this was $400 at launch. If you wanted to have the nice strap, the link cable and all everything it's going to cost you so it's 49 dollars or no sorry it's 80 dollars for the link cable and then 50 dollars for the elite strap so you're in it 430 bucks so technically it's 30 more dollars a little bit more expensive right but that 30 dollars with the capability of having on the go vr right i i haven't we made a video forever ago about the best headset for watching movies and back then it was the Oculus Go. It, yeah, it really was too. That Oculus yeah. Go was awesome. It was so great. It actually had a higher, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it had a higher resolution than most modern headsets mm -hmm. because it wasn't, it wasn't trying to run games. So it was very simple, rudimentary like graphics, but it had high resolution. Right. So watching YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, all those things in VR. It was great. It was an awesome experience. 
Um, I've never done that with the Rift S because it's corded. You don't even want to. Yeah. You don't even have the, it just doesn't cross your mind. What yep. are you gonna do? Sit on a couch with the cord and it's gonna be wrapped yep. around you and connected to the PC, you can't get up to go. I, I don't know, do yeah. anything. It, it's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't cross your mind, right. really. It really doesn't. But I pre-ordered the Oculus Quest 2 because I was like, man, I miss that experience. I miss sitting in like a theater in my headset, right? You're like in this theater, it's all dark and you yeah. can watch whatever you want anywhere you want, right? You could be sitting on the couch in your living room watching, you know, the newest Marvel movie on like a giant, huge screen. On top of a mountain. On top of basically. a mountain with <laughs> headphones in and like it's the most comfortable experience yeah. ever. And it's only getting better. Back then on the go, this was, I don't know, a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago that, that, that we were doing this. Back then, it was awesome. It's only getting better. The resolution, it's gotten way better. Oh yeah. The quality of the headset, way better. So, you know, it's just, it's gonna be so cool. Yep, I'm, I'm super excited. So back, back to our, I guess, original, like, like the title of the video, this is versus, like, which one should you buy? Right. Right, right now, if you're gonna go out and buy VR, which one should you buy? I, I think that you should buy, buy the Quest 2. Um, the Oculus Quest 2 is a phenomenal device. I think it lo has a lot of potential. Um, and, you know, it's got better specs than the Rift S does. Right, yep. And, you know, when it comes down to it, it's, it's beating the, the Rift S in specs. So that's obvious. Yep. If, if you're going on it for pure specs alone, this is the headset to buy. But you've got the... Uh, advantage of being able to take it on the go without having a PC there that's huge too yep huge uh, lower price if you're just looking if you're on a budget wanting to get into VR on a budget this wins the simple headsets already a hundred dollars cheaper without the upgrades and things like that yep um, what else is there I mean I think there's more things that have advantages for the quest that the rift just doesn't yep. have anymore it's just washed up now you yeah know? it's like it's kind of like this is the chump headset you know like yeah um, you're tied to a computer and it's I mean uh, I love this thing and we, we make so many videos about it because it's such an awesome headset. So simple and it just works. Um, yeah. Well, unless you have some troubleshooting issues, but it happens. Revolutionary. Uh, I mean, the Rift S was revolutionary. Oh yeah. The Quest 2 will be even more revolutionary. They're really heading in a really cool direction. They've proven that because, just because you're upgrading and releasing a new headset doesn't mean that you have to raise the price. I think, uh, Oculus should teach Apple and some other companies as well. <laughs> uh, Apple's actually started to lower their prices on phones. But yeah. for a while there, a lot of companies just kept moving up the price and testing their limits. We made something new. That means it's got to be more expensive than it has ever been. Yep. Oculus is heading in a really cool direction because they want virtual reality to be accessible to everyone, everyone yep. that wants it. So that's, that's really neat to me, and they're doing that with the Quest. Absolutely. Maybe you're in the situation right now where you have the Rift S currently. I think it's a good time to sell, you know? Sell, wait for the or the Quest 2 to come out, order it, and sell your Rift S, and get this. You'll probably get enough money to pay for this. You could probably sell your Rift S for 300 bucks right now on Facebook Marketplace. Used, yeah. Used, Yep. and there you go. You just paid for a brand new headset that's not a year and a half old like what you have right now yep. that is better. Yep, um, but other than that, like the software for the Rift S and the Oculus Quest 2 are gonna be very comparable. You know, it's gonna work fairly like similarly, but I've got a lot of hope yeah. for the Quest 2, and I think you should too. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, don't believe the hype. Everyone's like complaining that you have to have a Facebook account to use it, which it's like, who cares? What do you expect? You know, I'm okay with that. Make a fake Facebook account if it really bugs you. It's some of the best virtual reality technology on the market, and you're gonna complain about freaking making an account? Like, <laughs> come on, just like enjoy it. Yeah. Make a fake account. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is. I dreamed about being able to play video games without a controller in a headset my whole life, and now right. it's here. And you're complaining about having to make an account? That's just so silly to me. But Yeah, uh, people will complain. There's always something to complain about. But yeah. When it comes down to it, everybody, this is really cool. Revolutionary. The Quest beats the Rift S in every fashion, in every way, in my opinion. Yep. Uh, especially, I think the link cable is key because if they didn't have that link cable, the qu the Rift would just be better. Yep, totally. Because you know, it's just like, you know, when you're hooked up to a computer that has a motherboard and the graphics card and everything you need, it's just going to be better. But it's not really the case anymore yeah. when you can have something standalone and then just tap into that power when you need it. So. It's something we always talked about as kids. It's like, 
oh man, what if you could like connect your like console to your computer, make it more powerful and all right. these things. It's we're the future, right? This yeah. is exactly what we dreamed about when we were younger. Um, I, that's why I'm so passionate about VR because it is literally like science fiction come reality. <laughs> and it's, it's this awesome thing. And pretty soon we're going to be seeing people on like the subway, like using one of these things, like fighting people, <laughs> you know, I, oh, I think it'll cool. become commonplace. Yeah. It's only heading in that direction. Yep. When you make the technology better and make it cheaper at the same time, yep. that's just the direction it's heading and you're going to see people having this all over the place. Absolutely. So, so yeah, if you have any questions about what our thoughts are about the Quest or the Rift S or anything, please comment below. We'd, lo we'd love to answer. We answer every comment and question that we get. Yep. So, and go ahead and give us a like, guys. We'd really appreciate that. That helps us get motivation to continue to dabble in the... Uh, virtual reality market and make sure that you guys are updated with the newest content and the best content out there so yeah uh, let us know what you think subscribe so that you can keep checking out our awesome vids because they are awesome yep <laughs> i hope you guys make a great decision with your future vr endeavors and we will see you next time